This video demonstrates how to create a rifled barrel using Blender 2.5. Alright, to start with let's go ahead and delete the existing barrel. X, delete. Let's make sure that we're in perspective mode and we're looking at the front. Okay, I've already added an image here for a rifled barrel. I got this from firearmsid.com. The important things to note here are how many lands there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is important to note how many vertices we're going to need. We want to have a multiple of number of lands. Also to note, the land starts here and as it twists through the barrel it ends up right here. If you extend this line out up the, sh up the barrel you'll see that it rotated 90 degrees. Alright, so let's go ahead and add a circle. Let's rotate it 90 degrees in the X direction, so we'll see it. Go ahead and scale it down to 0.5. Now I've already pre-selected this image here to fit within a 0.5 radius. Also to note, scaling I found works better when you're in edit mode as opposed to object mode, so in order to fit this in here you would have to go to edit mode. And just don't want to make that part of the lesson. Uh, but when you do add modifiers, in my experience, it's better to keep the scales at 1 in the object mode, therefore just resize things in the edit mode. Alright, let's go ahead and add 66 vertices, because 66 is a multiple of 6, and cylinders are normally better with, uh, in my opinion, with 62 or more vertices. Okay, so let's go ahead and duplicate this now while we're still in object mode. So hit Shift D, hit Enter. Let's go ahead and go into edit mode, so tab. Okay, now hit S for scale, and we're going to bring this in to where the lands are supposed to start at. So S for scale, then hit Shift Y to lock it in the Y direction so it only scales in the X and Z direction, and type point nine five all right now deselect everything now select the vertices around the lands there'll be three vertices each land one two three oops got too many there all right, now hit E for extrude, enter, shift Y, point nine five. I screwed that up. <laughs> it's S for scale, shift Y, point nine five, enter. Now remove these vertices in the middle of these lands. This is so that it'll minimize the confusion as you extrude all this out and this way you'll have less vertices and faces that'll just be in your way. So remove those vertices. Tab out of here. Now we're going to add a screw modifier. Alright, for this it's better to go into perspective mode. So hit 5 and go in perspective mode. Oops, where to go? There it is and the screw this is going to determine what the length of the shaft is for for us let's go ahead and put in a minus four and, and it'll put it four units backwards uh, also the angle you can see over here we probably want a negative number you can see it rotate that way when it goes negative so put minus ninety in there and there you go All right. Now, tab out of this. Now, let's select this outer ring again. Uh, select the outer ring and go into top view and hit go into edit mode, hit E for extrude, enter, and then just pull it up over here to 4. Let's go into camera view to play button.
And there you go. There's your rifle's barrel. Thanks for watching.